Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here with you today because I have just accomplished a quite challenge and uh, as well a learning experience. I passed the red team hopes made by Zero Point Security. Not only I did successfully pass the exam, but I was able to capture all the hate flags. Therefore, I want to share my experience with you, what worked, what didn't and my approach, strategy, and methodology. Because if you are planning to take the exam, this could be really the right video for you. Stick around if you're interested and learn about how to take successfully the exam. Let's start with the preparation phase because honestly, that was the most crucial part. The Red Team Ops training course is very exhaustive and comprehensive and is, uh, as you can see, from the course completion snapshot I provided here, I went through all the modules. The course cover a lot of topics, like from initial compromise to privilege escalation to more advanced topics like Active Directory Services, Kerberos as well. And yes, I did all of them, no shortcuts. This helped me to handle whatever the exam threw at me, especially because the exam is a real world red team engagement simulation. The exam itself is structured in a way that simulates a genuine red team assessment. It's a blend of offensive security skill set that require you to think strategically while solving problems on the go. You need to adapt and pivot, which means that creativity and technical understanding are in place. Each flag is like a milestone. Therefore, getting to that milestone and means that you have successfully exploited vulnerability or escalated privileges. Here you can see my progression during the exam. The first flags came fairly quickly as they were uh, tied to initial access or gaining foothold. And when I went on and I proceed during the exam, you can see that the flags gaps time were increasing because they were uh, requiring like advanced exploitation or privilege escalation with some error related while I was reviewing the training material and as well like uh, browsing in the internet. Let me share a few tips that really helped me to get those flags. Some of these tips might save you hours during the exam. Practice, practice, practice. Every single module have corresponding labs and I did each lab multiple times. The more comfortable you are with these labs, the more automatic your responses will be during the exam. Don't just rely on your memory, take structured notes through this module. They will be incredibly useful during the exam and while you are trying to perform specific exploitation. One of the standout models that were game changing for me was around command and control, specifically using Cobalt Strike. Automating repeated tasks during the exam really helped me saving time, particularly how to configure a C2 profile. And as well, automatic reconnaissance script was a huge win. Another criti critical time was time management. And uh, uh, whenever I was stuck in a flag, I took breaks. You can easily uh, stop uh, the virtual environment as well I suggest you to uh, create like permanent persistent access in the machines don't uh, reset the lab I don't think it was necessary in my case I never I just stopped the lab I, when I needed to take breaks then remember that uh, the enough score to pass are six flags so firstly focus on those and then try to move towards other machines or other domains. I won't sugarcoat it. There were quite a lot of challenges during the exam, mainly because it's easy to start to uh, get in doubt about your notes and as well the environment. But please rely on what the training material is offering you. And sometimes you need to pivot inside the a virtual environment or as well performing like specifically in-depth enumeration that can help you to leverage the access. Whenever you're stuck, take break for real. You have four days of time of for performing the exam and 48 hours of the lab. 
I can compare it with other labs like or other exam like COFSEC, OSCP, OSEP, and so on. I mean, based on my personal experience, I really prefer this kind of structure where you have a lot of time to explore and then you can really enhance your skill instead of having the time pressure, which is another type of exam. I strongly agree with that, but this is like a game changing if you want to really improve your knowledge in Active Directory. To wrap things up, I want to emphasize the, that Red Team Hope's exam is incredibly challenging, but it's also rewarding. I believe that if you have like a strong and the right preparation mindset and perseverance, you will successfully pass the exam. But as well, you need to have strong fundamental background on Active Directory, pivoting and so on. So prepare well and practice in the training material and take your time, but as well, you can tackle it and destroy the exam. Seeing your name as well in the leaderboard with all the score of the flags will give you a lot of motivation during the journey. And it's funny when you will see the banner 10 points, 10 points, 10 points, increasing gradually towards 60 or 80, hopefully for you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. And as well, feel free to drop a comment if you are like planning to take the exam, if you're preparing yourself for the exam and hit the like button and subscribe for more content, security content and more. See you in the future.